Hey friends, today I am in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we are going to be hanging out at Hershey Park, Hershey's Chocolate Town. I am so excited. I came up to Pennsylvania to visit my family, and I wanted to bring you around to all the amazing theme parks and amusement parks they have to offer up here. So, let's go do this. I do have to say Hershey Park is definitely looking a little bit different since the last time I was here. Look at this new entranceway and also Candymonium, the new roller coaster is actually highlighted right behind the sign and I'm excited to ride that because I haven't been able to ride it. Last time I was here they were just constructing it and look there it is it's starting to go up it's about to hit its peak. Oh wow, this is going to be such an amazing day. <laughs> I am just so happy to be back. There it goes. One of the best things about Hershey Park is, the, of course it costs money to go into the park, but there are free attractions on the outside of the park that doesn't cost any money. You can just come here and you can do its world famous Hershey's Chocolate World. And that's a dark ride through the history of Hershey and candy. And we're gonna do that first. We always start off with that. And then we're gonna go in the park and we're gonna experience all the new food offerings and rides that they have for the 2021 season. And I'm just just like I said, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon to be back here. I love seeing that Hershey's Chocolate Town sign. It says see you again soon because we're gonna actually go up to where the Hershey's Chocolate World ride is. My sister Bonnie is gonna be hanging out with me all day. My mom couldn't make it down to this one, but we're gonna be hanging out with her a little bit later on in the week. I have tons of places I wanna go. More amusement parks, some fantastic places to eat and even a couple of my favorite like filming locations here in Pennsylvania so it's gonna be a fun little adventure and now a chocolate world awaits us I can't wait to see those singing cows as soon as you walk through those doors you are just hit with the smell of chocolate and it is one of the greatest smelling buildings ever you can also purchase some of your favorite Hershey candy here, but with limited edition flavors. So there's like a key lime pie milkshake. There's a lemon Kit Kat. So many amazing things. What's that one right there? Raspberry cream Kit Kat. Wow, these are fancy. I just like the way it even looks. Now we're gonna head right on into the Hershey's chocolate tour and I wonder if they still give you the free candy at the end of the ride That was my favorite part. They used to give you just like a free candy bar just to say thanks for coming out Here it is One is only happy in proportions Why does that cake look so delicious? <laughs> look at that Hershey's cocoa breakfast cocoa before we board our ride vehicle and go on the chocolate tour, I thought it'd be fun to see what your favorite Hershey candy is. There are so many to choose from. Is it Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Hershey Kisses, a Mr. Good Bar, Twizzlers? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite Hershey's candy bar is. I can't decide. Oh, you know what? It's a peanut butter cup. Who am I kidding? Oh, wow. And there wasn't even a wait to ride the ride. Look at that! <laughs> I hope we get a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one! Look, we did get a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one! Are you excited, Bonnie? I am! <laughs> <laughs> Caramel, Strabella, Blossom, Cocoa, and Hazel, the six most famous cows in the world. <laughs> Let's not forget little cupcake though. Huh. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a quality supervisor here at the Hershey Chocolate Factory. I was asked to be your guide today and I can't wait to show you around. Everyone ready? We send the cocoa beans in large cleaning machines that screen and thoroughly label them onto parts like pulp and bits of the cow Oh no, we're going in the roasting chamber here. We put the cocoa beans into 
they actually that pump heat really in here. Really you feel the heat? We're roasting. Which packs over the shelf. is one of the only companies in the world that uses fresh milk to make milk chocolate. Fresh milk is part of what gives Hershey's milk chocolate its delicious and distinctive taste. The sweetened milk and then blend in the perfect amount of unsweetened chocolate. This is where the art of chocolate making all comes together. As the mixture cooks, it begins to form delicious little pieces that we call chocolate crumbs. The smell in here is amazing. Oh man. Through steel rollers that grind and refine the chocolate until it reaches a smooth, uniform consistency. Liquid texture of milk chocolate. After punching, we temper the milk chocolate. My personal favorite too. Look at all of them down there. Oh, we don't want to forget about the kisses either. Look at. What'd you think, Bond? Did you like it? It was great. Right? Yep. What's your favorite candy? Uh, Reese's, of course. Of course. Reese's peanut butter cups all the way. Oh, yes, we get our free candy. Thank you. Thank you. That was the perfect way to kick off the day. And now we're going to head on into the park and ride a whole bunch of rides. They have some of my favorite rides here. And actually, some of the best theme park food as well. The best thing about this park, though, is its ties to Milton Hershey's school. It actually funds a private school right next to the park itself that offers a variety of amazing educational classes for children in need. And the original concept of the park was to open up and have a fun activity for all the workers inside the Hershey factory. And then Milton Hershey built the school, and to this day, it's still funding that school. Wow, seriously, if you have not been here within the past year and a half, so much has changed. This walkway is beautiful. Seriously, just take a look at this view that they got going on here. I mean, wow. The skyline is perfect. Look at all the roller coasters. And of course, the Hershey Carousel right there. Some of the rides I'm not going to be able to film on. Some of them I can film on, but certain ones because of safety reasons you can't film. I'll let you know which ones they are. And I'm just excited to show you guys and ride some rides that I've never ridden before. The first ride we're going to check out is the newest, Candymonium. And like I said, last time I was here, this was just starting to be constructed. I hope there's not a long wait time. I'm sure it's probably one of the more popular rides. But so we'll find out. And also, I have to find out if I can film. Chances are probably no, because look at that drop. The posted wait time outside is only 15 minutes. How lucky are we? If you're familiar with riding Mako, I feel like this ride is very similar to that. And if that's the case, I'm gonna love it. That seriously was such a great ride. Oh yeah, you were screaming. Really she was screaming. Really no it was rough and it was such an amazing drop. Oh. I noticed, like I said, it was kind of like Mako at SeaWorld and that one actually, uh, Mako does, how did we say? It, it kind of goes like this. It goes like this. But this here, this one like went this. like this. Yeah. I liked it. I like this one better actually. Oh yeah. Oop, there it goes. 
this is one of my favorite parts of the park right here it just reminds me of an old-timey like amusement park and i really like it obviously a statue of milton hershey right there Ooh, and you can also get a, a socially distant meet and greet with the hershey kiss hi, hi how are you yeah can give us a kiss <laughs> I guess that's how it goes. I love it. Thank you. Yay! Bye. <laughs> the carousel at the front of the park used to be right here. Now it's back there. I'm kind of shocked because I was like, wait, I don't remember there being two carousels. I do like this in here. Now it's kind of just like an area to sit down and play gigantic claw games. One thing I always recommend when you come to a theme park is take one of the higher up attractions and get a bird's eye view of the whole park so you know where you want to go next. Luckily, this park has three of those attractions. They have a skyway, kind of like a skyliner. Then they have a monorail, which is amazing. And they also have the Hershey Kiss Tower, which is basically a big gigantic kiss that takes you to the top of the park and you get to see everything around you. The sky view is currently closed and this is what I was talking about. You see how it takes you up and you get a bird's eye view. It's just like a skyliner. So instead, I think we're going to head to the good old monorail. Every time I say monorail and point, I'm hoping one just appears and goes by. I've been doing that at Epcot for months now. After we get off the monorail though, we're gonna come back down and do Reese's Cup Fusion. This is the ride I wanted to try. They just recently redid it, I think two years ago. I don't think I tried the new version and I'm so excited. Look at how cool this monorail is. And we're gonna be able to see everything from the park. We're gonna be able to go through the zoo area, see all the coasters and rides. I'm excited. Bye, see you guys, bye. There we are, look at this. Hello and welcome aboard the Hershey Park Monorail. Sit back, relax. We have Fahrenheit right there. And then the Great Bear. Oh, that's Sky Rush, not Fahrenheit. Oh, you can see a little, uh, uh, oh, is that a seal? Yeah, there's a seal down there. Fancy. You may hear the roar of Great Bear. The sound of this inverted coaster is created by the unique track structure indicative of this type of roller coaster. We're now entering Kissing Tower Hill, perched atop the highest point. And I definitely want to drive the antique cars. These ones are so awesome. There's the Kissing Tower. Goes all the way up there. The monorail actually takes you outside of the park and shows you the Hershey factory itself. The world featuring the free Hershey's chocolate Look at that. That's the Hershey's factory, the original one right there. That's so awesome. And then, oh! <laughs> that literally scared me so much. Caught me off guard. That's not a part of the show, folks. <laughs> now we're coming up on Zoo America. This is actually a, a real zoo with tons of animals in it, so maybe we're going to be able to spot ourselves a bear. That would be great, right? Oh, there's a deer. Well, we didn't see any bears, but that looks like a Subaru legacy. <laughs> Ahead, you will see Trailblazer and Dry Gold Oh, I can't wait to ride Trailblazer. I love the little music too. I don't know if you can hear it too well, but it's like jingle, jingle, jingle. Oh, look at one of the ships. And of course, a Chick fil A right in the middle of the park because eat more chicken. <laughs> Can I tell you, when that train popped out, it scared me. Like, it literally caught me off guard. It hit that horn. But it's really cool to be able to see a train from a monorail. I think that's a, a very interesting perspective. 
now I'm gonna practice what I preach because I said it would be a good idea to do one of the rides that take you above the park so you can get a grand view of it and know what you wanna do. While we were on the monorail, I seen Trailblazer and I really wanna ride that. And because that's an outdoor ride and there looks like we might get some rain, I think we're gonna come back for Reese's Cup Fusion so that way we can actually get Trailblazer in case it does rain. And take a look at the monorail going from here. <laughs> that's pretty. They also have a gigantic bumper car arena called Fender Bender, and I, you're going down. <laughs> you don't even know. I'm going down? You're go, I'm telling you, we're doing Fender Bender too. I also appreciate how they have Hershey's chocolate milk vending machines throughout the park. Isn't that cool? You can just get yourself some Hershey's chocolate milk. I like at how Hershey Park, much like Disney World, has different themed areas. So we're going to head over to Pioneer Frontier. They also have the Hollow area, they have Main Gate, and I think the other one is uh, Founder's Way. But the reason we're going to Pioneer Frontier is because that's where Trailblazer is. Right here we are. It's kind of like, you know, Frontierland. And the thing also over here is Yingling because if you are a Yingling or a Lager fan, you'll know Yingling is made in Tampa, Florida and then Pottsville, PA. So it's cool that they have their own pavilion. Trailblazer is a coaster ride through the forest and I just love it. I don't know why. I think it was one of the first roller coasters that I ever read when I was a kid growing up. So I have like a special spot for this ride in my heart. And for some reason, I love the back row of this ride. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Hang on to your hats and glasses, folks! <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Coming in hot! Coming in hot! <laughs> oh. The ride is so fun. I mean, it's not like a big, big roller coaster, but I just like how it goes through the woods. And I don't know, just like I said, it has a special spot for me because I really do think it was my first roller coaster. Just look at how fun this ride really is. Oh, look, here they, they're coming in right now. It's like a kitty roller coaster. It's not like it's not like candy monium. It's like for kids, but I love it. Anywho, now we're gonna move along and we're gonna go back to Reese Cup Fusion. I'm excited to see what they did with that ride because it's a completely different one. Oh, we can watch the tower actually take off here. Steady. Any second now. Hang on tight. My sister was just commenting on my uh, short Florida tan line. <laughs> Look at that. I'm glad we did things the way that we did. It's starting to rain a little bit. You can see it on my glasses. So now we're gonna head to Reese's Cup Fusion and that's an indoor ride. And right next door to it is the Fender Bender. And that's the one things are gonna get very hostile. A brother and sister rivalry. Yeah. But here it is. This is basically a laser tag ride, kind of like Buzz Lightyear or uh, Toy Story Midway Mania, but with Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Look at these cool ride vehicles. These are amazing! So cool! Wait, I don't want to be a Kisses, I want to be a Reese's Cup. Holy oh, oh, yeah. moly! Oh, you gotta go. shoot, go. shoot! Training's over. Oh, it's a big screen. 
screen. The Crystal Cup is... <laughs> I love it! This is amazing. You need to stop that motor. You can't let him get away with the cup. Oh no! Get it! Shoot it! Oh no, now we got flying monsters! Oh boy, it's game time now. Aim for the mint on his body. The Reese's Cup Fusion ride was so amazing. I like how they added things, not just the screen, but they had kind of like physical targets as well. And that's a good mixture. It was a lot of fun and, and it was actually a very decent ride. We're making our way down near the water park, but take a look at Fahrenheit right here. What a drop. Holy moly. That's intense. The line seems a little bit long and there's one ride I do want to ride before it really starts raining. So if we come back, maybe we'll check out that one because that seems a little thrilling. The ride that I wanted to get done is Lightning Racer. It is a dual racing wooden coaster. And like I said, if it starts raining, these are the rides that won't be open. So that's why we got to take advantage of it when we do like right now, like right now. Oh, right now. <laughs> Oh, looks like we made it. Lightning Racer. I love wooden roller coasters and that's something different from up north. I feel like they have a bigger and better selection of wooden coasters. I mean, big theme parks in Florida really don't even have any wooden coasters, but here they've got the best. A couple of the other parks I plan on going have world renowned wooden coasters. I can't wait to show you though, the most unique things in the world. Oh boy. I should have hanged on to my hat! Oh boy! <laughs> this is insane! I love it! An exhilarating ride holy moly so first of all when you go up you have to choose between lightning and thunder and then you race each other we lost but holy moly I'm sorry if the camera was so shaky it was so hard to hang on to like that is uh, gotta be one of my favorite wooden coasters I love it honestly <laughs> After riding Lightning Racer, I think we're gonna grab something to eat and show you some of that great theme park food I was talking about. Chicky and Pete's is home of the world famous crab fries. So I think we'll get some crab fries as a little snack because later on there's a restaurant I would like to eat at if we can. And uh, we don't wanna get too full if we're gonna be dining at a fancy establishment. Here are the crab fries. And I'm basically thinking they're just crinkle cut fries with Old Bay seasoning and then some cheese sauce on the side. But I like how they got this. I mean, that is fancy. I feel like kind of like talented for carrying this without even doing anything. 
I like Old Bay seasoning, but I do find out that sometimes I think Old Bay seasoning is just a generic term and there's different types of Old Bay seasoning. Correct me if I'm wrong by that because some seasoning I do like, some I think is a little bit spicier. So we'll see what this one's like. That's good. <laughs> I like it. These are really good. Holy moly. There's a little bit of a spice, but look at how many you get. Like you get a whole bucket full and they're actually not like flimsy flimsy. They're good crinkle cuts. I am really hooked on those crab fries. They were delicious. As you get down more, they get very, very seasony and salty. So you kind of get like a good mixture and a much better taste at the bottom of the bucket, the bottom of the barrel. Now that we've had our crab fry delight, I think we're gonna head back over to the fender bender and then we're gonna crash it out. I'm gunning for you. I'm gunning for you. Oh, okay. This is one of the biggest bumper car like tracks I've ever seen actually. Normally I'm used to the small carnival ones. This one is huge. And it's brought to you by Geico. 24 seven access to licensed agents. You're gonna need them. Look at this. Holy moly. Time to choose our vehicle. I'm going with this one right here. I'm going with the red one. I like it. These are so fancy, aren't they? These are the best bumper cars I've ever seen. Okay, right, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, it's hitting quick. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. He's going backwards. Oh, <laughs> oh hey now, hey, hey now. I let her get around me. Now we're coming in. I'm gonna, what do they call it? T-bone when you get up here? Oh, she's trying to be smart. Oh no, I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> I'm going straight across. Here we go. I hope I don't get hit. She's trying to avoid it. I see you. No. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Come on. All right, here, here, here we go. A little bit over the side. Oh, no. There we go. Clear path. Clear path. I got this. No. There she is. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Coming in! Yeah! Get him! <laughs> oh, that was good. Those bumper cars were so fancy. Geico invested a lot of money into that. Yes, Don't did. you agree? I agree. Yeah. Now we're gonna make our ways down in the hollow. In the shallow, shallow. I think we're gonna do the common, which is another wooden coaster that actually I grew up on. Like I think this is one of the first uh, roller coasters in this park. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to find out. I definitely think it was like one of the first roller coasters here. I remember riding this when I was a yee youngster. Yee, yee youngster. <laughs> Look at this. Here it comes. The comments. Welcome back. Please remain that is so awesome, isn't it? Oh boy, and it's starting to rain. Look at this, guys. I love this white wooden roller coaster. Holy moly. Oh, I'm so nervous! Oh, I shouldn't have done this! I'm scared! Oh, I'm so scared! Holy moly! didn't get too wet there I mean it was coming down and that is a scary roller coaster it is 
very old and creaky and loud. Oh, very scary. I love it though. I'll take all the rush in the world. Now I think we're gonna head down and see if we can get something to eat for Din Din. And there's a nice smokehouse down by Trailblazer that I was looking at earlier. But now I'm looking at the Nut Hut here. Cinnamon frosted churros, iced tea fudged and dipped bananas. It's starting to come down a little bit heavy though. So I'm glad that we are gonna go get something to eat. And I love barbecue restaurants. The fact that they have a smokehouse like barbecue grilled restaurant, I'm gonna get some baked beans and maybe a Bud Light, but no, Yingling. Here it is, the Spring Creek Smokehouse. And they got brisket, ribs, chicken, turkey legs, mac and cheese, baked beans. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with is a nice rib and brisket combo with baked potato, I mean baked beans and mashed potatoes. Just take a look at that. That looks amazing. Some brisket, some ribs, mashed potatoes, cornbread, and beans. Bonnie got the same thing except for she got mac and cheese. And I was gonna grab myself a yingling, but it looks like the yingling booth is closed. I am super excited to try these ribs. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna bite into this side. And I like how they have a big smoker right on premise here. Here we go. Those ribs were excellent. And now, I wanna get a little bit of the baked beans. Gotta try those baked beans. Look at that. That is some good, good smokehouse cooking. Oh, dropped a bean. Excuse me. Now on to the brisket. I mean, that is, that's a good looking brisket right there. I don't normally get baked beans, but when I do, I stick my brisket in it. This is a really good meal. And that's what I like about the theme park food here. It's not more processed and commercialized. I seen they were just like smoking out the brisket and the, the chicken. And like, I feel like some theme parks, they get stuff in frozen and stuff like that. I really think this is fresh. And after dinner, it looked like the rain did not stop. So I think we're gonna have to call it a night here, but I'm excited for all the amazing videos I'm gonna show you. Uh, everything that I like to do up in Pennsylvania. I'll only be up here for a little bit and then I'll be back down to Florida and enjoying my nice sunny life. I mean, it's great up here, but uh, I just like having that sunshine feeling, you know? But there's still amazing things to do and I can't wait to show them all to you. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!